So this team really don't make it easy for us today, eh? It's not easy to support this club. Some days just kill you. So as you can tell by my manner, I am very, very disappointed. But it's not about the disappointment of yesterday because we can always lose a game of football. Now, for me, it's about where we go from here and how we're going to end up. So I guess my mood is more about being fearful. <laughs> so going from a really positive of beat Bournemouth and uh, top four's guaranteed. Win on Wednesday, Champions League final. Last game, a nice leisurely game. Nothing on it. Now, lose to Bournemouth. Potentially lose on Wednesday. Everything rests on the last game of the season. And am I confident that we're going to win that? I've got to be honest, I'm not confident. I believe that we can. I believe that we have the ability to beat Everton. Um, but Everton are on a bit of an um, upward trajectory at the moment. So, as I said previously, it's not going to be easy. But then, Bournemouth wasn't going to be easy. Um, I don't think anybody thought it was going to be an easy game. And if you did think it was going to be an easy game, then you're a fool. Because, it, you know, Bournemouth are going to be really happy about the fact that they um, put a nail in our coffin in terms of reaching um, the top four points that, we are, that we're looking for. Very, very strange game. Um, started off okay. Um, we were um, pushing and pushing and pushing. Felt a bit, like again, like we were playing everything in front of the back four and no one was really taking um, an opportunity. We were calling out constantly to shoot, shoot, shoot. Um, and then when they did shoot, it seemed to go straight at the keeper. Um, to be fair, he I think he ended up as man of the match. Young 19-year-old debutant. Um, yeah, did, he, he had a he had a decent game. He made some made some good saves. I don't think they were particularly difficult saves. Um, they were generally straight at him. I mean, to be fair, they they could have been. Um, better, um, but that's not taking any away from him. You know he can, he can only dive around and and palm off whatever comes his way. So if it came his way and he could save it, then fair play to him. You know, so you know he had a he had a decent enough he had a decent enough game, um, and that kind of took the shine away from it. It got a bit. I think it started to go wrong a little bit. And getting a little bit niggly after the dire challenge. Now I haven't watched the game back, so I only I've only seen it in real time. Um, dire lunged through. From from my perspective, when I was watching, it seemed like he took the ball, but at the same time, he did take the player. Now. You can't really be tackling from behind, sliding in like that. Referees don't like it, not these days. So, could he have got sent off? Possibly. Should he have? Maybe. Um, but I think that started the bit of a the, the niggle um, in the game. Um, it kind of got a little bit heated in parts, um, and. Uh, Unusually, really unusually, um, Sonny reacted to something. Now I've seen some, I've seen some snips of uh, videos of uh, people saying, "Oh, he, he was punched in the back or, or whatever," and that doesn't excuse the fact that he reacted because he shouldn't have reacted. Um, but whether that was enough to make him react in the way he, he did, I don't know. I think it might have been a culmination of. Uh, the tackle on him and, and all that for, for him to react the way he did. Um, maybe his head's gone a little bit 
maybe feeling the pressure. Everyone's saying, you know, we need Sammy to to get us through because everything's not going our way. I don't know. Because he's not normally that player. He plays with a big smile on his face and uh, he enjoys the game. So really strange to to see him do that. Um, yeah, so went through to nil-nil at half-time and uh, we was all expecting a big push in the second half. We knew it was going to be difficult, but we was all expecting a big push. And when we see that um, Dyer came off um, and Toby came off, uh, OK, so he's protecting them for Wednesday, plus um, they're both on yellow card, so potentially they could get sent off. In steps, one fourth. What? What are you doing, mate? He just... I, I don't think he was even in the game. Like the ball came to me, lost control, and he just dived in. I, I don't get it. I, you know, he literally just dived in both feet. Absolute bang on red card. Bang on red card. Knew he should have. Uh, he should have gone. Yeah, I, I don't think anyone can complain about it, let alone him. Um, what was he thinking? I, I, God only knows what he was thinking at the time. Um, so yeah. So from that point, I. I I personally turned to my mate Ian and said, it's over, mate. It's, it's really, it's gone. Um, but to be fair, we kept playing. We only had nine men. We kept playing and we kept playing and we kept playing. And I have to give a shout out to, to Lucas Mora, who ran himself ragged. He won numerous headers um, to knock the ball on, but to no one. Um, but he was he was really working hard yesterday, and I, I felt he had a decent game. Um, took a few chance, uh, you know, a few shots and stuff, as I've mentioned in the in the first half, and they got saved. So he could have done better, but at least he was having a go because he, he pretty much seemed like he was the only one willing to to, to really have a go. Um, again, Musa Sissoko had a had a really good game. He was. Uh, Really good in that, you know, marshalling in the midfield and strong and, and, and pushing forward and stuff. You know, it's almost like we can't play without him these days. Um, so when it went to the 90 minutes, I was watching the clock and I'm like, right, 90 minutes, 90 minutes. We're nearly there, nearly there, nearly there. And then, of course, of course, we get a, a goal from a corner, another set piece which literally just kills you. So, yeah, disappointing. Um, I guess the other there are a couple of other call-outs. Um, Deli Alley probably should have had a penalty um, in, the, uh, in the dying moments of the game. I, I felt um, he was dragged down, didn't get given. But then equally, I think... Um, in the, I think it was in the first half. I think Hugo was lucky to stay on the pitch as well because I, I, I felt I, again. I turned to Ian and I said, "God, that's a penalty. Surely he could go for that." Um, so I think we got away with one there. So everyone calling out that the referee was appalling, and he was appalling, by the way. Um, I think both sets of fans had, had points where we were saying how bad he was, um, but um, overall. It was uh, we got away with a couple, so I don't think we can complain too much that it was all it all hinged on the on the sending off. So I don't believe that um, it all hinged on the fact that we couldn't defend a corner. So now um, it doesn't put us in good stead for the game against uh, Ajax, um, and I've already had loads of Ajax fans saying to me, "Oh, don't be too uh, confident because uh, Ajax are a good team, and they are." You know, Ajax are a good team, and uh, if they if we don't deserve to get into the final, I'm not saying we do deserve it, um, but if we don't get to the final, for me, I'd I'd love to see Ajax uh, Ajax win it. I I think it's great to watch a nice young team really sort of uh, playing good football and wanting a wanting to win. So, so if it's not going to be us, I I hope it is them. Um, but of course, I'm still hoping and uh, praying that. 
we can still manage to get the result on Wednesday and uh, take us through to a final um, and give us a little bit of belief going into the Everton game at the end of the season. Whichever way it goes, I'm going to say this now, whichever way it goes, I will still be supporting Tottenham next season and I'm sure you will be as well. I won't be calling for Pochi's head. I won't be calling for mass clearouts. I won't be blaming individual players for our poor um, season. Um, I'll just keep supporting my team and, and hope that um, we can uh, salvage something from this disappointing end to what has been, to be fair, a, probably a disappointing season in reality. Um, but hey, as it sits, we're still sitting third. We're still in the semi-final. So can anyone do us any favours today? Um, probably not. Let's not bank on it, eh? But in the end, we'll just keep supporting our team, eh? Up the Spurs.